All right, at this point, there's a lot of people who have opinions on whether or not as an artist you should or should not sign to another artist. Now, in his sit-down um, with Math Hoffa, uh, he, Method Man talked about some advice for artists who are considering signing with other artists as well. I always felt like, and this is from CM Puffy, I always felt like if you can't sign to somebody who's still trying to be an artist, mm. it's hard. They, they can't give you the time or attention that you probably probably need and deserve I mean, unless you are your own machine you know this 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 there, there great have been people that have done it yeah there have been people that have done it yeah definitely uh, uh, off the top of my head Rick Ross yeah and Meek yeah yeah but, I, mean, I, I mean those these are people that I'm pretty sure have a staff that's how right. you do it that's how that's how you yeah, do it yeah. That's I think interesting. Ross think. and Mika having problems, but Yo Gotti did it with Money Bag Yo. With yeah, I, I mean, we've been saying that historically for years. I don't think that applies to everybody. I think artists are the best people to actually run and work at these labels because they understand culture and they understand talent. Now, every talent can't be an executive, but there, there are some amazing uh, people that are talents. And executives. But like you said, you have to have a staff. You can't expect to, to be an artist and run the label. You have mm -hmm. to have, appoint somebody like Yo Gotti's done, like Lil Wayne has done, like uh, even like Jay. Jay, Jay has done, has done. Yeah, right. absolutely. Right. And Yo Gotti just signed a fellow Memphis rapper, Glorilla. Well, Gloss Up also has just done a deal, and she's affiliated with Glorilla. And her deal is with Quality Control Music, so congratulations to her. Yeah, both of those... That, that song that they have right now is it's going to be a, a, a number one record, I think, in the next couple of weeks. Big record. Yeah, so congratulations to them. All right. Um, now let's talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So Sheree Whitfield, now I'm sure y'all haven't been following this series, but she was dating a guy who was in jail, and then she went to go see him, and he just simply did not show up. Have you talked to him since the last time? I have time? not talked to him. I have him blocked. It has me questioning, like, did you ever really love me? Because how can you love me and do the things that you're doing? You are like a ride or die. And then seeing the article, how'd you feel? I feel stupid. I feel crazy. I feel, I feel duped. I feel like, you know, I feel like the damn people he stole the money from. He robbed me emotionally. Like, I put in so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't I know. I feel so stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, it was embarrassing for her when she was on TV waiting for him to show up. And so you say he went. She went to visit somebody in jail. No, he was out, and he was supposed to come oh, meet her. Oh, oh. But I think he can't travel. You know. And so anyway, she was just on Watch What Happens Live, and uh, here's what she had to say about their relationship and having sex once he got out of jail. Okay. Why did you two really decide to be celibate? Was the sex not good? It was horrible. It was horrible. <gasps> no! Okay. Uh, uh, you are too beautiful for uh, that. No, and I realized one day, I'm like, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life just not satisfied. You know? Okay. And yeah, that sucks. She waited all that time. She was celibate, waiting for him. They first met back in, like, over 10 years ago as friends, and then they started dating, and she was waiting for him to get out of jail. He was in a halfway house, and then all kinds of drama, and then there was that scene where he just never showed up mm. and didn't call or anything. So it looks like they've broken up now, and, hey, the sex was terrible. It's never hard to break up with somebody when the sex is bad. All right, well, that is your rumor report. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Now, up next is the People's Choice Mix. Don't forget, uh, my car show, August 20th. I announced some of the celebrity uh, cars I'm going to be bringing down. Uh, shout to Trey DeLuf. Trey to Trey DeLuf. Trey to Truth. <laughs> you be trying to play Trey, yo. Trey, I don't like Why how he just tried to play you, bro. Loof. Trey, I don't like that, bro. Trey, you ain't, ain't going to play the guy, Trey, Trey bro. Truth, Turkey Leg Hut. Let's see if those cars make it down here. Uh, it's going to be a North vs. South mm -hmm. Cars show. So your favorite celebrity cars, there's rides, there's uh, amusement games for the kids, gaming, uh, kids five and under are free. And I'm bringing celebrity cars from 50, Fat Joe, DJ Clue, Little Kim, Jim Jones, Fabulous, Meek Mill, Little Uzi Vert, and more. I got a bunch of surprises. So the North vs. South Cars show, if you want to put your car in the show, can't wait to see you guys. Just email me, djnvcarshow at gmail.com. Shout out to Lincoln Tech for sponsoring. And let's get to the mix. 